Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study chapter number 1, sets, practice set number 1.1. We are going to complete in today's video. The explanation of the method of writing sets is already been explained. The link has been given in the description box. You all can watch it. So let's start with the first question from the textbook. Write the following sets in roster form. So the questions have been given. You all have to write it in the roster form. Now what is roster form? I have already explained this in the previous video. You all can go and watch it if, if you all haven't understood it. So the first question is set of even natural numbers. So this is the question. I will write the answer directly. Set of even natural numbers. So you all can write any variable as I said of your choice. Okay. Curly bracket and even natural numbers. So they haven't given any uh, thing like from first to second or uh, any definite numbers. They haven't given any definite numbers. So therefore you all have to write starting the even numbers from 2, 4, 6 and so on. As I said, they haven't mentioned anything. Any limit has not been given in the question. Therefore, you all have to put a dot dot so that it will be continued. Got it? So, this is the first answer. Second one is set of even prime numbers from 1 to 50. Okay, now over here, they have mentioned even prime numbers from 1 to 50. Means from 1 to 50, in between those only... The even prime numbers you all have to write. Over here it was not mentioned. Therefore we have put a dotted line over here. Alright. Now set of even prime numbers from 1 to 50 is going to be. Suppose I will take B. And the only answer is 2. Even prime number between 1 to 50 is 2. Got it? Now the third one is set of negative integers set of negative integers now we all know integers what are integers so you all have to write the negative integers they have properly mentioned it so i will take the variable as c as i have said the integers have left and right the left one is the negative one and the right one is the positive one we have to write the negative one therefore the dot will be coming over here okay not at over here at the end it will not come in the very starting it will come from here I will write minus 3 so that it is continued. This means it is continued. Minus 2 minus 1. Okay. And a curly bracket to finish up. Now let's solve the fourth one. 7 basic sound of a sargam. That is sur. We all know what are the 7 basic sound of sargam. Musical sounds we all know. So the fourth one I will write it as D. Any variable you all can choose. It is going to be. It is definite, isn't it? Sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, and ni. These are the definite ones. So I will be writing only those. No dash. No dot, nothing will come. Only curly bracket and comma to differentiate between them. So this is the roster form and the first question is completed. Now let's solve the second question. Write the following symbolic statement in words. Now these are the symbolic statements given. You all don't have to worry. This I have already explained in detail. If you all don't know how to read it, you all can go and watch the previous video. I have explained how you all have to read it. Okay, so it is very easy. Reading only you all have to write. Whatever you are going to read, that only we have to write. So the first one is 4 upon 3. So P 4 upon 3, I will write the question only so that it will be clear. Now P is such a that such that it is an odd, it is an element of set Q because it is not definite, it is in the form of fraction. So what we can write is 4 upon 3 is an element of set Q. This is element, isn't it? 4 upon 3 is in the form of fraction and it is an element of set Q. 4 upon 3 is an element of set 
cube. Got it? This reading I have explained in the previous question also. Next is minus 2 is not an element of n. Okay. So that only you all have to write. Minus 2 is not and this sign means it is not an element of set n. Got it? It's very easy to read. E means the sign means element and that only you all have. The way you read it, the same way you all have to write it. Now the third one is P is equal to P vertical line. P is an odd number. So the same thing you all have to write it as you read it. So it is set P is a set of all P's such that P is an odd number. Got it? So the way you read it, the same way you all have to write it. Nothing much. This thing I have already explained as I said and it's very easy to write. One mark you all can score for this question. Now question number 3, the main question. Write any two sets by listing method and by the rule method. Okay, so over here I will show you in the textbook. This is the question. Write two sets by listing method and by rule method. Means any two examples you all have to write for these Listing method also and by rule method also. So, I will directly write it. First, I will write listing method. Now, all the methods I have explained, both the methods I have explained rather. So, A is such that ruler, pair, you all can write any. Okay. You all can write uh, rainbow colors also. You all can write uh, friends names also. Okay, as your best friend's also name you all can write. So any set you all can write. Or flower's name, your favorite flower's name also you all can write. But it should be in the form of listing method. Okay, so this is the question that I have formed for listing method. Okay, and rule method I will write it for this only. Now what I have done is tools of geometry box. Okay, so I have taken a question such that it is a tool. X is such that it is tool of geometry box. You all can take rainbow colors also. Write all the colors of the rainbow over here. And then write X is such that it is the rainbow colors. Okay, so I will write A such that X vertical line X is a tool of geometry box. Isn't it easy? Now, the third one, second one, I will take again the listing method and then we will convert it into the rule method. So, listing method, first I will take B is equal to integers we will take. Okay. So, minus 2 because many of you all make mistakes while writing integers. So, therefore, I will take all the integers which is greater and smaller to X. Positive, negative and positive uh, 3. So, it is going to be rule method for this is going to be, this is the listing method and rule method for the same I will write as B is equal to such that X, X is an element of I. All are integers. Isn't it? All the elements are integers. What does this mean? X are elements of I where minus 3, minus 3 ke andar number hai such that it is greater than X and X is greater and equal to 3. Over here also we have included 3. So therefore greater than equal to. What does this mean? Greater than equal to 3. Okay. Smaller than uh, 3. You all have to write over here. Okay. So I hope this question is uh, clear to everyone. Now question number 4 I will show you. 
write the following sets using listing method now these are the questions being given you all you all have to convert it into listing form which is very easy and such kind of question comes for one one marks okay so all months in indian solar year is the first question so what you all have to write you all have to take any element and it has been given as indian solar year means chaitra vaishak not january february okay so for that you all have to understand the question chaitra vaishakha jaishta ashada i hope everyone knows the indian solar years solar months then shravana भाद्रपद भाद्रपदा योर कैन से और अश्विना देन कार्तिक और कार्तिका देन मार्गशीष और शीर्षा मार्ग शीर्षा पौष और पौषा मेघा and falguni okay so these are your answers for the all months in indian solar year so now second one is letters in the words complement so as i said you all don't have to repeat the same e e is coming twice so you all have to write e once m is coming twice so you all have to write m only once so i will take b and write all the elements c O M P L E N T. Don't repeat the alphabet. You all have to write it only once. Next is set of human sensory organs. Sets of human sensory organs. So all sensory organs you all have to write. I hope everyone knows. Nose, ears, eyes, tongue. These are the five sensory organs. And skin are our five sensory organs. Now fourth one is set of prime numbers from one to twenty. Okay, so D is going to be the set of all prime numbers between one to twenty. I hope everyone knows what are prime numbers. Prime numbers are the numbers which come in the table of one and the number itself. Fifth one is name of continents of the world now all the names of the continent you all have to write you all can take any variable over here that is asia africa all the continents you all have to write north america south america antarctica Europe and Australia. So these are our continents of the world. Now question number four has ended. Let's solve question number five. Now this is going to be a rule method. You all have to write. Okay, listing method is given. Rule method you all have to write. Over your rule method was been given. Listing method you all have to. Right. Okay. So, ulta you all have to do, and it is very easy if you all have understood it. Question number five. First one is, I'll show you. A one four nine six twenty five. All the numbers are there, and what does this means? It is the square square root. See, all are square roots. So, pattern you all have to understand, children. One ka square, one two ka square, four three ka square, nine, and rest all are square. But it has started from one and ended till. Ten. Okay. So how are you going to write this? So the first one is I will take the element uh, variable a, x, vertical line x is equal to n square. N is what the numbers, the natural numbers. Where n is an element of all natural numbers and n is smaller than and equal to ten. Got it. So this thing is very important. Everything you all have to mention that all the numbers are natural numbers. They are the squares, 
and they have started from 1 to 10. That is what we have written along with a comma. Now second one is going to be D which is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 and so on. So it is 6N. Okay, matlab what we have taken? 6 multiplied, it is table of 6. Isn't it? 6 ka table it is there. So how are you going to write this? B is going to be such that X, X is equal to 6N. N matlab 1 se multiply kiya to what will be the answer? 2 se multiply kiya to what will be the answer? Okay, where N is an element of all natural number. Natural number starting from 1. And N is smaller than 9. See, till 8 only 6. 8s are 48. So, 9 ka to count kiya nahi hai. So, you all don't have to write it. Okay, it is equal to sign. This sign you all don't have to put. Only the greater sign you all have to put. Now, Next one is going to be C, which is smile. Okay, isn't it? We just see it and we understand it. It is the word C. So, what you all can do is C is equal to such that even missile it can form, miles it can form, smile it can form. So, whatever you all can write, you all can write it. I will write miles. Okay, so Y such that Y is a letter in the word Mile. M I L E S. Or capital letter, you all can write, no problem. So, in this way, you all have to finish your third one. Now, fourth one is days of the week, isn't it? See, all the days of the week are there, starting from Sunday to Saturday. So, D is equal to such that X, X is a day of the week clear so it is very easy to write this vertical line you all have to write it because the way we are reading it in the same way you all have to learn now x is such that it is a e t so what word will it form it can form eat or t also so i will write t i will write x because x element has been given x variable has been given and the elements are a e t so x Vertical line X is a letter in the word T or eat. Okay, any two word you all can write or this also one is enough. I hope this exercise is clear to everyone. Question number 5 we have completed. If you all are finding anything difficult, do let me know in the comment section so I can explain you in detail only that question in the short video. So, see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.